breaking news boys massive absolutely humongous i have brain damage so i was scrolling through my youtube right and i saw the main watering waves people release a ton of videos about this thing i haven't even really read it i just saw that we're gonna be getting more rewards i guess and they're fixing tons of stuff so i opened my twitter and just click the article and let's see let's just read it together see what's happening right now announcement on watering waves 1.0 version and future adjustment directions okay dear rovers greetings we are the watering waves team since the official launch of watering waves we have received a lot of valuable feedback and suggestions through social media okay okay oh it's gonna be okay so it's gonna be talking about the issues that we've been having since launch number one we're gonna be talking about echo development experience okay echo development feels grindy and inadequate energy materials yep echo exp is so scarce right now they need to add a ton of ways to get it more or at the very least just lessen the amount of echo xp it needs to level up an echo also farming for echoes right now if you are a casual player it's pretty hard because it needs a ton of time we are aware of the common concern in the community that current echo leveling experience feels too grindy in the current version we will launch a limited echo material double yield event cord cleansing oh my god we're gonna be getting a double yield event that's crazy so are we like getting two echoes for the price of one in in is this gonna be a is this gonna be a limited thing like only only 100 echoes a day or like 50 echoes a day or is this gonna be a time thing because if this is gonna be a time thing a lot of people are not gonna be sleeping in in 1.1 version they're also gonna be adjusting the progression system to reduce shell credits okay for the echo development i don't know if people have been uh complaining about the cost of echo development shell credits wise because a lot of people don't have problems or uh, with shell credits but okay i mean sure i guess they will also be removing the cutscene of the tacit field that's big that's huge okay because that that cutscene is really unnecessary actually boys it's one of the most unnecessary things in watering waves it's a good thing they're they're just flat out deleting that in 1.1 and forward the yield of echoes and echo development materials will also be increased so our data banks will improve that's pretty good in upcoming updates we will also introduce the wave plate storage system is that the same thing as honkai star rails system where if you have a full stamina you're gonna have another one that has a bigger cap but it fills up slower if that's the case that's gonna be pretty good guarding our handling reward system error when recycling developed echoes on oh, no. what oh so it's about shell credits okay so they're gonna be giving us 1 million extra shell credits that's good i guess following an internal discussion we have decided to compensate all players with shell credits based on the maximum amount of shell credits that's ha that has been unexpectedly yielded through this bug i mean it's not good that they had a bug but at least they're giving us a shell credits to be fair at the end of the end game when we're all at max level shell credits would absolutely have no factor in this it's gonna be one of the most non-negligible resources that we're gonna be having if you've played more than like a year of honkai star rail or a year of genshin impact then you already know that mora or credits isn't really that big of a deal at the end of the day but it's still a good sign that that they are trying to listen to their players because actually most gacha games just would sweep this under the rug because it's not really that important distribution time is gonna be on june 10th okay additionally to address poor experience with the ecosystem we will compensate all rovers with 20 crystal solvents oh my god that's on june 3 that's today that's less than five minutes from now holy fuck what are they smoking oh my god they're giving away a lot of things here that's crazy i mean i, I i'll take it i'll take it on the error in the five star weapon description we've already talked about this this is the jp thing about jin Yan's weapon in the meantime we will offer a one-time compensation of forging tides 
times five to all rovers for the known localization issue hopefully this is for everyone and not just on jp but nice i mean most of their problems come from voice acting localization but the game itself is pretty good it's just a lot of bugs right now hopefully they iron it out because i see a lot of things that's just gonna be a huge problem if they don't fix it in the next two to three months on version events we have received extensive feedback on the duration and rewards of the overdash club event oh it's a sleeper event you know how it is in gacha right now they're gonna be having big events but also they're gonna be having filler events and the overdash club event is a filler event let's just not beat around the bush here to address your concerns we are currently in the process of redesigning the rules and reward schemes of the upcoming events and the immediate solutions are as below hopefully they change it to the way hsr does it where you could do it all in one day because that's gonna be a pretty huge change you could just pick whenever you want you don't need to like do a daily thing we will introduce a new limited special event wuthering exploration to offer new rewards uh event duration is on the 13th of june and it's gonna be giving us 800 astrites a morphable elite class echo two morphable elite class echoes some tuners and some echo exp oh my god we're getting I'm stumbling on my words here. Morphable Elite Class Echoes? This is gonna be game-changing to some people. That's like giving away four of the craftable things in HSR where you could pick the main stat. More EXP for Echoes too? I cannot. I cannot say no to that. On future version updates timeline, since the official launch of Wuthering Waves, we have received extensive feedback regarding the game's storyline, localization, and various other aspects. We have been listening closely and are grateful for the continued enthusiasm and support from our players, which has exceeded our expectations. To allow everyone early access to experience more content and features of Wuthering Waves in version 1.0, we have decided to advance the release of subsequent content in 1.0 starting June 6 at 10 a.m.? This is one of the things I've seen on the thumbnails of other people. They're gonna be releasing Yin Lin and her story quest, companion story quest, a week early. This will last until June 28th, after which we will schedule a server downtime and implement Wuthering Waves version 1.1, Paw of Eons, which will include a new area, Mount Firmament, new resonators, Jinxin, Zhang Li, and a new boss, Jui. Wait did you guys just spoil me we're gonna be fighting jewey oh my god why did you do this though oh right I, I forgot zzz is gonna be releasing on july on the first week of july so they moved it one week earlier so that people would still play it before the release of zzz that's a good that's a big brain move by Koro games right there because i'm gonna be honest i haven't played zzz's close beta test i haven't really watched any of the content i'm still gonna be fucking play. it's a hoyoverse game dude it's bound to be crisp it's bound to be juicy so this is a good change for me and to, for the people who are inevitably gonna be checking out ccz to compensate for any inconvenience caused by this version timing adjustment we will be issuing a compensation to all rovers 10 region tides that's 10 of the gacha pulls not just the standard pulls by the way the special banner pulls so this is gonna be pretty good its distribution time is on 10 o'clock on june 3 wait it's already distributed actually oh my god combat and control experience optimization okay so they're just talking about optimization here auto aiming camera performance bosses exist combat state unexpectedly oh okay so they're gonna be introducing a disengagement function where you lose aggro it's gonna be like talking oh, you're gonna be losing aggro don't move a bit too far you know ghost touch is used on mobile i've i've experienced a lot of this because i'm playing on mobile for farming for elite echoes so i know that there's a lot of ghost touches on mobile hopefully they fix that delayed availability for custom key binding feature they're gonna be lowering it to union level two that's pretty good so that you get key binding off rip before even the start of the game that's pretty good controller mode experience optimization more controller support please guru games please on other contents no purchase limits for store items like floor leading to accidental purchases i almost did this on not flower but like some other thing hopefully they add weekly purchase limits because this i could see myself just 
collecting this without the thought and losing all of my shell credits audio and sound effect bugs performance issues and crashes depths of elusive realm optimizations yeah 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 we already know this hopefully they fix that but that's gonna be it okay so the main changes and the main rewards that we're gonna be getting are 10 free pulls for the special banner five free pulls for the special weapon banner uh 20 crystal solvents that's that's the condensed resin or that's the fuel for you hoyoverse people out there that's 20 free uh crystal solvents right there that's crazy um what else we're gonna be getting an event that's gonna be giving us another set of elite class echoes that are morphable so your aero damage bonuses for your jinyons your fusion damages bonuses for your for your more defeats more defeats or is it more defeats you already know what it is this is gonna be pretty good and last but not the least we're gonna be getting yin lin one week earlier with her banner and her story quest that's gonna be crazy and they unexpectedly spoiled us a bit on the story we're gonna be fighting a new boss called jewey oh my god we're gonna be fighting the fucking dragon boys but that's gonna be the video right there hopefully you guys like the video i'm gonna see you guys in the next one boys Peace out.